When you eat a breakfast like this, it's absolutely no wonder that I can't eat lunch. I force down some lunch only because it's there. Steve and I do very complicated breakfasts. He already snarfed down a chocolate croissant, two glasses of orange juice. Now we're on the fruit plate, which will be followed by got a blueberry muffin to go to the room just in case I feel peckish. My method of dealing with either pancakes, waffles, or French toast is to get the berries. You dump the berries on top of it. I crumble up the bacon and I make this big concoction. I try to work my way through the daily menu with something different every day. Today it's eggs benedict with a side of bacon because I don't really care for the Canadian ham. You can also have breakfast up here by the Explorer's Lounge. Ooh, a great looking cinnamon buns. Oh, those. We always buy them when we're in the Nordic countries. Instead of these sticky buns, which they changed and are no longer my favorite, so I'm going to come up here and get cinnamon buns. Goat? cheese souffle. Steve is a steak man tonight with mashed potatoes. And I am going to try the scampi. God, that is a lot of food. Sorry, I already tucked into my creme brulee. I have never seen chocolate creme brulee before. I know it's disgusting showing you half-eaten food, but the two of us are so tired, so jet-lagged. And it's difficult to really concentrate on the niceties of life. And here is tonight's dinner menu for sure. Escargot, baked in garlic butter for us. There are two kinds of soup. They always have tiger prawns on the menu, always have Caesar salad. Main courses, that's interesting. I am Tala Wang. Spicy honey roasted chicken breast, seared dorado. I do not care for bite for Vikings fish as well as Hertigruten's fish. A wok style marinated scallops and shrimps, traditional beef Wellington, grilled vegetable lasagna with Mornay sauce. Again, steak on the menu every night, salmon on the menu every night, desserts tonight, a sweet rice and coconut cake, panna cotta, hmm, maybe apple crumble with vanilla ice cream, creme brulee is always on the menu, there's always cheese, and ice cream, of course. This is the white wine choice for tonight. Thank you. And there's Steve's Ray. One of my viewers asked me once before if Viking has destination menus, and as you can see, they do. This is their Indonesian destination menu for tonight. Here are cute little escargot that are basically just chewy. Escargot sort of remind me of mushrooms, not because of the taste, but mushrooms are, you know, earthy, chewy. Same thing goes for an escargot, a little slimy snail. <laughs> Here is our spicy Indonesian lambak honey chicken with rice, cucumbers to cool the spice down. This is really spicy, but so tasty. My tongue is tingling. <laughs> I love this, sitting at a dinner table and watching a gorgeous sunset. And most important, not having to cook. Yay! Hi, David Mack. This is Steve's third and fourth scoops of ice cream for the day. And this is my apple crumble vanilla ice cream on top. Typical buffet lunch. This is seared coral green filet amandine fries. Monte Cristo sandwiches. Roast lake lamb pasta. Blue cheese sauce with blank sauce, turkey breast, green cream risotto, vegetarian chili, nachos, vegetables, corn beans. Today's desserts 
I always like the tarts the best, the little bitty tarts. They're cheesecakes and other desserts don't throw me. There's always cookies and ice cream. Today we've got chocolate vanilla cheesecake, strata cella, and sorbets. And on this side we have Dan Dan noodles that they make for you, braised beef noodles. Um, mayonnaise, prawns, chicken with chili sauce. And at this end there are the cheeses, cold meats, and all the different salads. They make excellent hamburgers. Steve and I will have to do that for lunch one day. And different salads. We are dining in Manfredi's and once again, I'll tell you what we're having. We are going to have the mussels. Cozzi allo zafferano with dry vermouth, saffron cream, crab meat, fennel, toasted focaccia. And I may ask them if I could have a small portion of their lasagna. We also have risottos, fettuccine, gnocchi. And for our main, we're going to do the Bisteca Fiorentina, the thick cut ribeye. They also have a pasta of the day, a fish of the day. Toscana's good. Salute to all my wonderful, wonderful viewers. Vino, beautiful sunset, a great day. Here is our basket of breads. That's olive oil in there and Parmesan cheese. Mussels at home I buy four pounds or a little less than two kilos just for the two of us. And we just make our way throughout the shells. I hate to use the term, but the mussels were to die for because of the sauce. I'm busy dipping the bread in it, trying to sop up every tiny bit. So good. Here is our linguine with truffles. Every time I see truffles or think of truffles, I think of that cute little doggy hunting truffles in France. Last course before dessert. This is our huge ribeye steak. Um, I ordered asparagus. The new potatoes are done with a truffle butter, so I did want to try it. I am not a big Italian dessert devotee, so just one scoop of salted caramel after everything else is more than enough. Whereas, I gave him a really big treat tonight and ordered him three scoops. Wow. Does that make you happy? Yes. Don't make me laugh. Same Portuguese wine today. Two of us are like lemmings. The strike, the clock strike is 12, which means the restaurants are open and you go eat even if you're not hungry. I think Steve and I are going to split a cheeseburger. My favorite lasagna with bechamel sauce. And they also have Thai style barbecue pork. The vegetarian highlights, marinated vegetable kebabs. Maybe I'll, I'll order one of those also with tzatziki, Greek olives, and couscous. Exquisite artwork all around the ship. Here are the vegetable kebabs and there is the cheeseburger. Every time I see couscous, I think of couscous, the Algerian detective in the Richard Scarry children's books that I read over and over to my sons. That is coconut cake and a fruit tart. And yes, David Mack, today Steve is trying hazelnut and chocolate. I chose the cold leek appetizer or starter tonight. Here is my ocean basket. It is a kingfish. I have no idea what a kingfish is. Uh, squid, shrimp, scallops. I was absolutely not 
thrilled with the ocean basket. Way, way too much breading. And they were busy cleaning our room, so I thought we would walk through the breakfast buffet. Smoothies. You can get a smoothie in the main dining room also, but there's just so much food. Interesting. Up here they have a garlic spinach benedict. coffee. You can always make your own coffee. I thought you might enjoy seeing what afternoon tea in Winter Garden looks like. They have cucumber and creme fraiche, smoked sturgeon sandwich, BLT sandwich, uh, caramelized goat cheese raspberry jam on a whole wheat, pastry cupcakes, praline tart, red velvet cake, macaroon of the day, raisin scones, and of course beverages. Room service is complimentary 24 hours a day. Viking chef salad, Caesar salad, chicken consomme soup of the day, New York strip steak, the poached salmon, southern fried chicken, jalapeno cheddar chili fries, caprese panini, grilled plant based burger, a Viking burger, all beef hot dog, fresh spaghetti, and desserts. My favorite would be the bourbon pecan brownie served warm with vanilla ice cream and salted caramel sauce. I'm already conflicted about dinner tonight because they have three great starters. Barramundi fish cake, ahi tuna tartare, duck and chicken liver par parfait. I would like all three of those. The remainder of the starters. And main course, they have a seared duck breast with butternut squash puree, red cabbage marmalade, and Cointreau juice. They also have, well that looks good, a Norwegian salmon and lump crab gratin. Roast pork loin, Steve's already decided he's having the grilled flank steak with truffle mashed potatoes. There is a vegetable couscous strudel. And for desserts, I don't know, there's an Eaton mess. Whipped cream, fresh strawberries, meringue. I would like just the meringue portion. All right, now we're into Spanish wines tonight, which I'm sure is very... I could not resist. I ordered three starters tonight because I like them all. This is the chicken slash duck liver mousse. The ahi tuna is beyond wonderful. Spicy, but so tasty. And here is the barramundi fish cake. I am in food heaven. I am so glad that the duck breast is not huge. For my soup people, there is a roasted bell pepper and garlic soup, and a chilled strawberry soup with basil. They have at least two soups on every menu. Oh, pardon me, a third in chicken consomme. The vegetarian spring roll. Today's Yes, very nice. Thank you. We are only in the dining room right now because I love chicken satay with peanut sauce. Peanut sauce is one of those things that I could probably just sit and spoon up a half a bowl. I would love to try the goat cheese and tomato tart also, but oh God, I hate, hate wasting all their food. 
Today they've got a tropical shrimp salad. I'm not going to video everything. Today they have Indian doll, Bavarian style meatloaf with mushrooms, cabbage, mascarpone, polenta, eggplant, cannelloni, honey, arrabbiata, uh, carving yeah, roast pork. Over here is frito musket stall and croque monsieur or croque madame oxtail spring rolls. Always a line for ice cream. That is a beautiful cake. That's what I tried, which I did not care for in the slightest. There's another bar, bar right there in the center. All we do is eat, 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 which is my constant refrain. I like those photos. I believe I already said I'm going to have the sushi grade crab stick cake with peanut dressing. And I have to try this Lauder Rogan tasting. It's salmon roe and sour cream, red apple, radish salad, lime zest, and flatbread. And I'm going to order Steve Wiener Schnitzel, and I'm going to have fettuccine. There's a wild mushroom soup, roasted Monday, a yummo crab cake. Here is a very strange starter, which whose name I cannot pronounce. Um, I didn't realize it was also with the smoked salmon. I ordered it because it's a salmon roll with all the little baby salmon peering out of there that will never be born. Steve's eating Wiener Schnitzel tonight with a side of green beans and mashed potatoes. And I have good old fettuccine. It is leek, avocado, and heart palm salad. Salute, Jonathan, Daniel. Tonight is lobster tail night in the dining room, and the lines are already forming to get in. This is always the busiest place when it's lobster night. Shrimp spring rolls. Steve gave it a thumbs down. They're okay. He might have done the thumbs down, but he still ate the whole, the whole plate full. I think they're good. Lobster tail, baked potato, and here come all the sides, the, the many, many sides. The cream spinach, mashed potato, mashed potatoes for Steve, sour cream, more sour cream, yes, I love sour cream, and chives. Thank you, Angie. This is Angie. There was a quote from Helen Keller, Eve, who said, Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. If you're vegetarian, they have a tomato tart, vegetarian spring rolls, and Andalusian. Which one? We ordered Steve a second. short ribs because the first one was loaded with fat and this is a huge serving of cannelloni. I meant to order half. I hate to waste all this food. Sorry, one, once again I I just tucked right into it without videoing it. It's maracuya, passion fruit, cream, with some fruit and the, you're just supposed to get the little meringues but I love meringue and they Put a couple of big bricks of meringue in mine. I am not totally thrilled with tonight's menu. If I was a soup lover, I would because there's a spicy mussel soup. That sounds really, really good. And the dessert of my choice, I'm gonna tell you right now, is Floating Island Raspberry Cream Passion Fruit Curd and Meringue Flambe. They've got another soup. Homemade Queensland Crab Ravioli Seaweed, seaweed scented shellfish bisque. The Portuguese is very good. I, I'm not complaining. The artichoke salad. Where's the artichokes? Oh, there they are. 
Thank you, Barbara, Jonathan, Daniel, Jeff, everybody who commented on the situation in Peru. I hope by the time you see this particular food video, everything is back to normal for them. Crab ravioli. A really, really yummy looking floating island. You float on. It's me one again. Rioja. Thank you. We were going to split the calamari, but the portion is so small, I ordered another one, so we each have our own. However, we are going to split the spring roll, or summer roll. Nice menu tonight. They have Shanghai-style pork and shrimp shumai with sweet chili sauce, haddock chowder, Thai soup. Main courses are fresh papadella with seafood, nope, monkfish. Steve, I think, is going to have the braised chicken. There's also an Indian lamb curry. I think I am going to have that with pineapple chutney, naan, and steamed rice. Uh, the desserts do not excite me, which is fine because I'm stuffed to the brim by the time I'm done with everything else. But I think they have cantaloupe ice cream tonight, which I would like to try. Here is the pork shumai. Here's my lamb curry with the naan, and they said the rice is... Uh, oh, there it is. I asked, where's my rice? And there it is underneath it. I have not had Indian food in ages. Steve is eating the free-range chicken breast, which to me just means uh, a chicken that's been running around the road eating gravel. Based on past experience, it's like, I really don't care that it's free range. I am trying the cantaloupe ice cream. It has a little bit of a cantaloupe taste, but it tastes mostly vanilla. Kind of extreme. World Cafe. That's lamb kofta. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's lamb short ribs. I do not like duck. Comfort. Never like duck comfort. Mr. Parsnips, doll. Not thrilled. Not thrilled. Caribbean cornmeal and okra with cilantro. But oh, that's what I'm going to have. Baby shrimp and avocado sandwich. And over here we have roasted root vegetables, seared red snapper. Good. We both like the Chardonnay. Th that's right. Thank you very much. All the excursions left very late today, so World Cafe is half empty, which is a pleasure. Today's dessert, some Medlovic cake, blueberry velvet cake, the little fruit tarts, are, which are basically the only desserts that I really, really like, blueberry tart, coffee panna cotta, and cookies, of course. Actually, I'm very happy when lunch is not to my taste because I don't eat so much. So many good things to try. Oh, that looks wonderful. Yeah, Thank you so is. very much. My pleasure. Here is our boa mussels that we ordered as a starter, but no, no french fries. Didn't want them. Halibut, and if nothing appeals to you on the menu, there is always steak. Double desserts, that is a salted caramel, and this is the pecan pie, and I ordered vanilla ice cream to put on top. That one is passion fruit, chocolate brownie, and fruit tart. I'm going to try them all. Germany, the grapefruit is alkaline and carbonate sauvignon. It looks very good, yes, thank you. Great menu tonight. I'm going, Steve and I are both having identical. Crispy squid. I thought about ordering the panko crusted fish cake also. That looked very <laughs> yummy. But there is another starter that I like, Vitello Tonato. It's slice of veal with capers and tomato cream sauce. It's usually pretty good. Yeah, sweet potato soup, borscht, risotto, broiled shrimp, but they have great
grilled veal chop tonight, and we are definitely having grilled veal chop without the polenta. We are not polenta lovers. For those of you who are vegetarian, they have eggplant and mozzarella in voltini, stir-fried vegetable pad thai. Stutter number one, the vitello tonato. You know, it didn't sound good when I first tasted it years ago. You think tuna on top of veal, but it's very young. And our second starter, crispy calamari. Today's mains, it's salmon trout, skinny little onion tart, croque monsieur or madame, roast pork loin. Spaghetti looks good. Spinach spaghetti with octopus. Salt and vodka. Vegan maple, broccoli, and quinoa. Corsican chickpeas, those look good. Chickpeas, roasted eggplant, and the pasta. Two shout outs to Chip and Jonathan tonight. These are ceviche style scallops. And Angie warned us that they're spicy. Yay, we're raising the curtain. And with some luck, we'll have a beautiful sunset, I hope. We are basically eating the destination menu for tonight, which was the um, egg roll, shaman egg roll, and the ahi tuna, done medium rare. And for dessert, there's a matcha cake. I'm waiting for the, the gelato there that goes with and I'll taste it. I have not been a big fan of their desserts this time, which is no big loss since I eat everything else in sight. Beautiful presentation, however. I ordered Steve a chocolate pudding, which is one of his favorites, along with the chocolate and green tea ice cream. It's always chocolate, but depends what other flavors are available. And this is the apple pie with vanilla ice cream and caramel Thank sauce you. that I wanted to taste. And there's soft shell crab for the mains. Big choice between prime rib of beef, oven roasted rack of lamb, or lobster thermidor. I also really like caponata or caponata because it's with eggplant usually. They do the soft shell tempura style and I'm hoping that it's not real greasy. The caponata is not what I expected when I've made it as big, big chunks of eggplant. There is Steve's absolutely gorgeous rack of lamb. He has been known to eat two, two racks. A uh, huge lobster thermidor. Two halves, the entire lobster tail. And I ordered Steve another rack of lamb, the lamb only. Lamb, rack of lamb chops are very teeny tiny. And I made all gone with my lobster. Two of my favorites today, ratatouille and zero style veal. The pretty potatoes are gratin. I really like roasted chicken. A zucchini frittata. Uh, cake, uh, cake cake. Fish sticks, in other words. Two different kinds of pizza, margarita, and I don't know what a trapezine is. There is soccer tart. Today there's a creme brulee and a salted caramel. Eclectic lunch. Like little fish sticks, American style chicken, and ratatouille. And lasagna with the crustacean sauce. If you're doing soup, it's, there's a creme of halibut and a minestrone. But oh, Sunny's favorite United Airlines. Beef short ribs. I think tonight we're going to have the Guinness and honey glazed pork loin. But I'm going to have to get him a different kind of potatoes. He will not like potato and, ras and raisin gratin. Nothing for dessert. It's like the old cereal commercial. Mikey likes it. Well, Steve already gave the seal of good seal of approval to the 
crab lasagna. He likes it. We are eating something different tonight. Pork. Pork loin. And look at, this is an interesting potatoes au gratin. Christmas present from Viking. Panettone Classico. I would have rather have seen a $500 dis per person discount for another cruise. There is a super great menu for dinner tonight, except for lunch. Maybe I'm just going to graze the butternut squash ravioli. And there's also a really interesting dessert that I will also have to try. Raspberry lychee fasherum. It's raspberry lychee ice cream, frozen cream, and meringue. The yeah, Frontier Chardonnay will be great. Frontier That's great. Chardonnay. Thank you. Yes. A half portion of squash ravioli, which is just enough. Perfect. Well, Steve is tucking into his daily burger. The Vacheron looks like a pink and white Christmas tree. Let's see how it tastes. It's good. It's very tasty. Ooh, we've got a French wine tonight. We have a superb Christmas dinner. Pate de foie gras. This is the second time they have served escargot on the two-week cruise, which is great as far as I'm concerned. Gorgeous Chateau Beyond with Brunei sauce. Done perfectly to my taste. Menus are exactly the same for breakfast, whether or not you want to eat in the World Cafe or down in the restaurant. They're cleaning our rooms, so we decided to just come out here by the infinity pool and sit. Nothing like a green tea cone to top off lunch. I thought I'd Video the dinner buffet tonight. I have not been doing that. Great prawns. They've got the same sesame crusted tuna. Different temporas. Calvary Station is a New York steak. Pinocchi. Spring rolls. Small slices of this place. Booyah stew, a vegetable risaka. There are two sides to Royal Cafe, and the other side always has sushi in the evening. Great looking sushi. I should come up here and overdose on the sushi. Cake. I'm having the Norwegian salmon with lump crab gratin, and Steve is going to have the beef stroganoff. They are both going to have the brie in crispy phyllo, and that's going to sum up the last meal on Viking. Comment, I just realized that they had no souffles on this cruise. No Grand Marnier souffle. How sad. Brie in crust. Gigantic salmon filet. The crab meat is on the top of it. And I guess that's what turned potatoes are. The salmon is truly wonderful. Very mild and very, very yum. What a perfect last meal. This ranks as one of the best mains on the entire cruise, probably because they cooked it so perfectly rare. Thank you.